Hi, I'm Lucy Fleming, author and illustrator of Ella's Nightlights. Thanks, Bright, for having me on the blog today to talk about all things books. So the idea for Ella's Nightlights came from a drawing that I'd done of a little fairy girl with moth wings. As soon as I'd drawn her, I knew she had a story to tell. My creative process is a bit of a muddle. It's quite visual, so I'll do lots of sketches, character designs, and kind of try to build the world first, and then my ideas then will grow organically from that. Ella isn't inspired by anyone in particular, but she does represent hope and kindness, and she is also, of course, based on a moth. Well, really, it was a passion project. Like, I was so in love with the idea of doing this book. And fortunately, my agents, Freddie and Arabella, were so supportive as well. They really believed in my concept and really helped me nurture it and found a publishing home at Walker Books. I suppose I've always wanted to tell stories. I've always been the kind of person that, when tasked with writing a two-page story at school, I'll go ahead and write 12, like I was that kid. And I think that authoring has always been something that I've been a bit intimidated by. I think that writing's really, really scary, actually. I very much feel safe in my comfort zone of doing artwork. It feels like a tried and true path for me. So to step into the unknown, basically, and delve into the world of writing, it's exciting, it's a challenge, and it's something that I feel really, really passionate about. Definitely the colouring. I absolutely love the colouring. It's where you really start to see the story come alive and the characters come alive, and you really start to see how the book's going to look when it's done. When it comes to colouring, I just feel like it's, it's the most magical part of the process. I'd say that the hardest part is probably actually the publication, her going into the wild and what will people think of her and the anxiety that you feel. For me, as long as one person out there really enjoys the book, then my work here is done. <laughs> Probably to not be too precious about it, definitely read it to your friends, family, kids, get that feedback, be open to other people's perspectives and to editing it because I think as creatives, we really want to hold our ideas quite close to our, our hearts and it can be quite vulnerable sharing that with other people. My favourite place to work is at home, um, where I'm comfortable. I have my little home studio here um, and I love working by myself. So I definitely couldn't work in a coffee shop or in a restaurant or something like that. That would not be productive for me. I'd say that the most advice you're going to get is to step away and to get out into the world and find inspiration outside of your computer screen. But another thing that really, really helps me is just talking it through with a friend or your partner or somebody in your life who you can get someone else's perspective on it, it can really help shift things in your own mind and help you sort of work out where you're going to go next with things. It's really nice to have social media to actually be able to connect with other authors and illustrators and picture book people because I think it's quite a solitary job otherwise. As I say, I work from home by myself. So it's, it's really nice to be able to go online and find like-minded people who are passionate as you are about what you do. And I think that social media obviously gets a bad rap of being quite a negative place but the children's book world within social media is such a supportive and kind space um, and having the agency as well for me has been integral I really feel like I'm supported and sometimes you don't always have the confidence in yourself so it's nice to have other people who believe in you if you have any more questions for me or Bright, you can find us on our social medias. I'm at Illustrate Lucy on Instagram and Twitter, and I can't wait for you guys to get hold of Alice Nightlights and let me know what you think. Thank you.